Hey guys and gals, um, so, a bit of bad news today, um, so, when I went to my sleep study, the way that she made it sound was, oh, you know, uh, like, she literally said she didn't see anything wrong, um, it looked like I was out of, you know, out of the clearing for, uh, sleep apnea, so, I get a voicemail saying that I need to call back to the sleep uh, lab, and I th I'm here thinking, okay, why, you know, is somebody that, you know, that it came out perfectly fine, why would I have to call back? And it, did, it didn't sound like it was going to be good news to begin with. So I called back today, and to find out that I was diagnosed with sleep apnea, and I have to go back May 2nd to do it again for this time to fit the uh, CPAP machine on my face. Um, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I had to wait <laughs> at least an hour or two to make this video. Um, I, I was completely crushed. I, you know, I was just like, I'm so young, like I'm only turning 20 in July and to have sleep apnea is just, it was horrifying. It's horrifying to hear that. I mean, yes, I do have it in my family, but they didn't get diagnosed with it until their late thirties, at least. And for me to be only twenty, to be having this, you know, it was heartbreaking. Um, you know, but then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? It's just another obstacle I'm going to cross. I've crossed so many others. I mean, and it's just gonna make me stronger in the long run. So. I mean, that's what matters. Um, yeah, so, what can you do? You just, all you can do is move forward and, you know, hope for the best. I mean, it's off, it's all gonna, it's all gonna put itself together. I know it is. Um, I'm just really anxious still for it to be June and just to get that surgery date is just, it's gonna be amazing. I, I'm not nervous at all. Like, I'm sure the day that, you know, the night or the day that of my surgery, the night before, I may be a little bit nervous, but I'm just more anxious than anything. Um, so my fifth out of six dietitian appointment is next week. Um, I've been getting my protein, uh, that, that's pretty much all she really wants me to do, and, um, stick to portion sizes and everything, make sure I'm not overdoing it, which I'm doing. Um, of course I have my days. Who, who isn't? And, you know, I still have normal sized stomach, um, a lot of hunger, and it just, you know, it, it happens. I mean, but, you know, I've been doing pretty good, and next month is my sixth one. It's my last one, and then, um, I just need pulmonary clearance, and I'm all set, and then it's gonna go, um, get in for approval. So it'd be like, two weeks after my last dietitian appointment. My last dietitian appointment should be somewhere um, in the 20s of um, next month. So, I mean, I'm super excited. Super excited. I mean, I, this was, you know, it really got to me and everything, but again, I'm just going to push through, move forward, keep on going. That's all you can do. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and, you know, t let you know how, I don't know the severity of my, um, sleep apnea, it, whether or not it is severe, so I will, uh, update you guys on that, and, yeah, that's about it, so, again, I'm gonna push through this, alright, so, that's about it, bye!